you are going to get punched in the back. Damn, these guys are tough. Okay, that's what you have to do. Break the fence after you counter. I think I might actually uh, put that game after this, even though this is a game I haven't played Look yet. At all of you, pathetic, dirty wretches. You're not but swine, suckling at the teats of civilization, thieves and scoundrels all. And do you acknowledge this? Do you repent and beg forgiveness? No. You elect instead. Depending on how well I do in Ground Zeroes is whether or not I'll buy Phantom Pain for myself. Because <laughs> I'm not particularly good at stealth games. The Assassin's Creed games, I don't even consider stealth games. There's barely any stealth. It's more like exploration and action-adventure. With some stealth gameplay. I mean, the first game was kind of stealth-based, but the rest of them are kind of more adventure-based. Oh, shit. Hold a moment, Squire. You are going to put him in a cell. Or I could just leave him there. You there. Stop oh, shit. I'll make short work of you. I've got a good line on him. Care not to raise the alarm. At least I get to try the optional objective again. Is he gonna move? Or do I have to find another way to do this? He's not gonna move. Uh, I didn't actually even know that you could go around like this. Not the same since old Jesus, they're torturing somebody. Say, what was the mild at the lion like? <laughs> there we go. You'll find Hickey through that door. It's where they keep the important prisoners. Nicer rooms, more space, those sorts of things. It seems even in prison. Who you know makes all the difference. Thank you, Mason, for everything. I will find a way to repay the favor when my work here is finished. Live long and prosper. Oh, shit. Oh shit, oh shit. Oh, 
I didn't think he'd turn around like that. Okay, I can't go this far. I think I gotta go around the other way. Oh shit. Come on, come on. Yes. He's dead. No, he was expecting. Am I right? What have we here? I thought we'd finished off your kind. You would like that, wouldn't you? To rid the world of all who do not share your views. <laughs> Guilty as charged. Your meddling in the revolution has caused us no small measure of grief. It cannot continue. Our work is too important. But what would you know beyond all the lies Achilles feeds you and the tales you tell yourself? I know that the people wish to be free, and that men like Washington fight to make it so. Please, the man is weak. He stumbles and stammers through each engagement. I hope you saw that. He goes along. His pedigree is pathetic. His military That's scared the fuck out of me. So, I could go on and on, but we'd be here for days. So manifold are his faults. So deficient are his merits. He must be dealt with. You as well. I will abide no more flies in the ointment. Here's how it's gonna work. First we bind you and bring you to your cell. Then tomorrow, you go before the court. Accused of plotting to kill good old Georgie. Don't do it. I'm expecting it to happen again. Maybe we could pin the murder of the, the warden on you too. You did kill him after all. And who wouldn't take the word of Charlie over here? Hmm. Once that's all squared away. His facial hair looks really good, actually. <laughs> years ago the child in the forest was you I said I would find you. <gasps> and so you have but not quite as you had expected am I right mm -hmm. you know all of this might have been avoided had you only done what I asked ah but what's done is done <clears throat> Please tell me you saw that graphical glitch. As I did. I mean, this is running at like... My cutscene was only running at 30, but this is typically at 60. Thank you, Double, by the way. I appreciate it. Up with you. I said get up! Bye now. <laughs> Dead man walking on the green mile.
Hello, Connor. Didn't think I'd miss your going away party, did ya? <laughs> I hear Washington himself is gonna be in attendance. Hope nothing bad happens to him. You said there'd be a trial. Oh, no trial for trade. I wonder why trade. Snake looks so young. Lee and Haytham sort of that. It's straight to the gallows for you. <laughs> I will not die today. The same cannot be said for you. That's enough! Get moving! I thought it was a different snake, but it's not. What about MGR? I think that takes place... That has to take place after 4. Because uh, Raiden looks exactly like he does at the end of 4. Which is odd, because Metal Gear Solid Ground Zeroes... He looks like he does in Metal Gear Rising. But maybe that's maybe that's not Kanan. Might just be extra. Well that's time travel's a factor in Metal Gear, I don't know. Forget about me. You need to stop picking. He's up. You go. Don't want to be late now, do we? You just had to be an hero, didn't you? You and Georgie both. Now you see what it gets you. A pine box, little else. Brothers, sisters. Fellow Patriots, several days ago we learned of a scheme so vile, so dastardly, that even repeating it now... I should really pay attention to this for my being. <laughs> The man before you plotted to murder our much-beloved general. Indeed, what darkness or madness moved him, none can say, and he himself offers no defense shows no remorse and though we have begged and pleaded with him to share what he knows he maintains a deadly silence if the man will not explain himself if he will not confess and atone what other option do we have but this he sought to send us into the arms of the enemy and thus we are compelled by justice to send him from this world May God have mercy on your soul. I pressed fucking B. Yeah. What the hell is going on? Like, it seems like everything I try to do isn't working. There we go. That's what I was trying to do in the first place. Why couldn't I kill him before? Yeah, because they're the Templars. They're, they're dirty Shiny, motherfuckers. I want answers. Why did Johnson try and buy my people's land? Why was Pitcairn targeting Adams and Hancock? What purpose would Washington's murder have served? Why does your order support the British? How should I know? The Templars, Lee, Big Man, Haytham. They has the money. They has the power. That's the reason I threw him of them. That's the only reason. Sure, they have some sort of vision for the future, too. 
I didn't give a damn about any of that. They can sing their songs about mankind and its troubles. They can make their plans and spring their traps. Don't bother me none. They paid me, so I said yes. Didn't bother to ask who or how or why. Didn't care. You chose to side with men who would rob us of our humanity simply because it was more profitable? What else is there? I'm not some blind fool to give up all I've got on principle. What is principle anyway? Can you bring it to the bank? Don't look at me like that. <laughs> We're different, you and I. You're just some blind fool who's always chasing butterflies. Whereas I'm the type of guy who likes to have a beer in one hand and a tea in the other. <laughs> Thing is, boy. I can, I can respect I that. Still gonna die, though. Hugh. Your hands will always be empty. My nose decided to itch badly. The worst possible time. I said, throw your goddamn gun. This man's a hero. Oh, the general can be so stubborn sometimes. Piffle, he said, when we warned him. Something like this would happen. Piffle! Stop. He wanted to kill the commander. Nearly killed you as well. He was a scoundrel. But still a man. <clears throat> You're nothing if not consistent. Where is Washington? I need to speak with him. Bundled off as soon as your execution went sideways. He's likely on his way back to Philadelphia by now. And so am I. Something wrong? He is still in danger. Hickey did not act alone. Yeah, the Templars, uh... Like, they were uh, I remember because I watched a rumination about it. Um, special outfit available. Uh, in the first... Impressive what you've accomplished. Uh, in the first uh, Assassin's Creed, uh, they were kind of making the Templars out to be not like comic book villain evil. Uh, it's just that they had their own motivations for what was going to happen. Uh, it wasn't until the second game where they made their motivations a little more simple. It went from seeing shades of gray and understanding where they're coming from to we just want to control every single living being on the face of the planet. And it's kind of been that way ever since. Like, you get some people who are part of the Templars that kind of have their own motivation for joining rather than just the want to control the world aspect. But for the most part, it's pretty much that. Not that that's necessarily a bad thing, because I can see why they did it. I think they wanted to focus more on the aspect that what the assassins are trying to do is simply keep free will for everybody in the world. This game, although they're trying to kind of prevent the end of the world because of the solar flare that's going to happen on December 21st, 2012... I actually forget when Assassin's Creed 4 takes place exactly, because I don't think it happens right after this. I keep forgetting. I, somebody might have told me. I don't know. Is that a compliment? Wait, what's... I'm sure the whole endeavor will end tragically. But to have come this far, well, it's more than I have ever expected. The people yearn for freedom, but fear to grab hold of it. That fear is gone now. Thanks to you? No. This they did on their own. You diminish your role. But you have always been of humble heart. I do what is right. No more, no less. You cannot tell him. I have to. Otherwise he will never be safe. 
is safer not knowing. By planting the seeds of doubt, you threaten to topple his entire endeavor. If Washington is paralyzed, Charles Lee will strike. You'll cause the very thing you aim to prevent. Hunt the Templars as is your duty. But do not drag these men into it. Okay, now I'm wondering, now I know where, uh... Now I know where this is coming from. Uh, the tyranny of King Washington. I'm going to assume that that, uh, that alternate timeline in that DLC is what happens when you warn him. If you don't warn him, then it's the main game, and it's this game's world, and, and I'm getting myself tongue-tied. Uh, if you don't warn him, the timeline goes on your like how it is as we think. No longer your own. Thanks for following, Mad Titan. I appreciate it. <laughs> um, I think uh, that's what I'm assuming because uh, I've only read a little bit about what that DLC is offering, and it it kind of seems like uh, if you've ever played Star Wars: The Force Unleashed, uh. It's a lot like that, where they made DLC that didn't really have anything to do with the story. Like, in a DLC, you can kill Obi-Wan Kenobi, and then you kill his fucking spirit. Uh... That was a decent game. It wasn't really... It wasn't great, but it was pretty good. I never beat it. I got near the end, and I just got really stuck on one part and stopped playing. We must all hang together. Yes. We must indeed all hang together, or most assuredly, we shall all hang separately. But anyway, it's kind of like that. More, I don't know if I, I finished off that thought. He's gone to try and hold New York. The British intend to take it. I fear we'll need to recall our men from Quebec as well. It's one thing to declare they call it Quebec. independence. Now, my friend. We must make it so. Oh! That was a really weird lighting glitch. On oh, nose, why did you have to suddenly start itching now? I really don't want to pick it on stream. Everything alright? Sean has located a second power source. I've asked Rebecca to charter a flight for us. Where to? Brazil. Interesting. Whoa! <laughs> Those low poly citizens are uh, clipping into each other. You there, Rebecca? Glad to see that's working. Guess I'll try you back when I'm topside. I like how his uh, backpack is ragdolled. I've been really dressed like that in Brazil? Not that I'm complaining, but. Damn. You copy now? Loud and clear. What's the plan? According to our intel, the power source is being worn as a bracelet by some tycoon's trophy wife. We're working on pinpointing her location, but she's most likely inside a VIP booth on the stadium's upper level. I'll update you when I know more. Now to find a ticket. We don't have time to play nice. Steal someone else's. Bit of a dick move, don't you think? <laughs> well, I guess you could try and sneak past security instead. Are they gonna give me a choice? Ah. 
I actually thought they would let me steal, but it looks like I have to go this way. Uh -oh. That doesn't look like normal security. Because it isn't. Those are Abstergo agents. Cross is probably here too. You need to be careful. I think that guy's pathing. Screwed up. Now he's just standing there. What the hell? Can't go up that way. Oh, maybe I can hide in here. Yeah. Fuck. Oh. Look out. Are you serious? That wasn't me. That was the goddamn platforming. I wasn't pressing in the direction in to go up on that damn platform. But Desmond did it anyway. That was bullshit. That shouldn't have happened. Qual é o seu problema? That doesn't look like normal security. Those are Abstergo agents. Cross is probably here too. You need to be careful. Ah, uh, he was supposed to go there. Even when I was hiding, they weren't losing their... Isn't that kind of what they were doing on that part? What am I supposed to do there? Are you kidding me? They put me all the way fucking back here. That doesn't look like normal security. Because it isn't. Those are Abstergo agents. Cross is probably here too. You need to be careful. I don't get what I'm supposed to do there. They're like everywhere in that one area.
See, this part is made way more annoying by the fact that they take away all of the indicators. And he sees me if I go up there, so I'm gonna wait this time. Don't go up there, Desmond. Your target's definitely in the VIP area. The entrance is at the end of this concourse. Are you Security fucking with me? Hey. Come on! What the fuck are you supposed to do there? I get found no matter what I do! And the fact that they put you all the way back and you have to do all of that waiting again is pissing me off. Outright. That doesn't look like normal security. Because it isn't. Those are Abstergo agents. Cross is probably here too. You need to be careful. I seriously have no clue what else to do. Like, I can't go that way either. Because then those guys at the checkpoint will spot me. And it didn't seem like when I tried to hide among people that it made any difference. So, like, those rules don't apply. Let me try it again. Maybe I just did something wrong. Maybe it's because I was running? I don't know. Você viu este homem? Chame a segurança imediatamente se ouvir. Are you s There we go. Great. Set up a checkpoint. Alright, yeah, I guess I was just doing it wrong. Get close to the crowd and you should be okay. Or look for a way around. Yeah, thanks for telling me now, Rebecca. What is the deal with stadiums and piss troughs? It's disgusting. And who thought they were a good idea? Troughs are time and cost efficient. I don't even see a stall in here. This what if I have to take a dump? Yeah, please just mute the microphone if you do. <laughs> Looks like I'm close. Shit. Another checkpoint. You're gonna have to find another way around. This way. Como assim? Trabalho aqui há 15 anos e nunca vi nada como isso. Quem vocês pensa que são? Sugiro abaixar o tom de voz. I don't know why, but it almost seemed like uh, they wanted me to. Olha, aconteceu só isso. A gente não queria que acontecesse. Só aconteceu. Sinto muito. Sente muito. Ela é minha irmã, cara. A porta da minha irmãzinha. Almost there, Dustin. 
She's just on the other side of the stadium. Other side? going to turn around at some point. Yep. Uh, why isn't this guy letting me through? There we go. I was wondering why the hell I couldn't go through there. Why, but I thought you couldn't go that way. That's not good. It's that guy again. Are you kidding me? Desmond, for the love of God, stop being a douche. I fucked up. Why did you put me in that direction? For the love of God, why? You know, typically after a cutscene, when they want you to run, it they put you in the direction you're supposed to go. They put me in the exact opposite direction of where I'm supposed to go. We can get back to Connor whenever you're ready, Desmond. Unless you want to plug in the power source first. Up to you. So this place looks identical to where we were. 
or are we back to where we were? All right. We'll talk to everyone first. So, what's the latest? Learn anything interesting while you were exploring? They were working on some weird stuff towards the end. Trying to engineer new bodies and store their minds inside computers. Failure after failure. It must have been hard for them. I worry about it too. I mean, they say there's something in here that'll help us. But what is it? Why is it locked up if it's exactly what we need? I don't know. Maybe it's dangerous. Maybe they wanted to make sure only you could reach it. That's the other question. What makes me so special? I guess we'll know once we open the door. Hey, I hope it's not uncomfortable for me to ask, but what happened with Lucy? I don't know. I'm sorry, I shouldn't have said anything. No, it's fine. I really don't know. I was talking to my dad about it. It's, it's hard to say. I mean, Juno definitely took control, but I think I agreed to it on some level. I think I let her in. No. <laughs> That's not right. It, it wasn't her. Not exactly. It, it was more like a, a program. Does that sound weird? It, it showed me things. What'd you see? That if I didn't stop Lucy, Abstergo would get the apple, and we'd all be dead. I still don't understand why she turned on us. I'm sure she thought she was doing the right thing. I gotta get back to work. You might want to do the same. Oh, he's going up there. Unbelievable. What's up? Your politicians are constantly referencing the Founding Fathers, and insisting they must have been in support of one thing or another. I have never seen such a blatant disregard for history. That's just typical political propaganda. It's also dishonest and delusional. How can anyone claim to know what these people wanted based off scraps of paper and wishful thinking? They're looking for intent. What these men envisioned for our country and its future. Idealistic. And unlikely. I don't think most of your presidents and senators and judges care what the founders thought. They just want to know how they can bend old words to achieve modern goals. Who cares if they were deists or theists or wanted a central bank? Why do people need the validation? What should matter is what you, as an individual, believe and why you believe it. What, are we so insecure that we have to find 18th century letters to validate our beliefs. Oh, look, Mum, a dead man agreed with me. Maybe. If you transpose the letters in his shopping list, you can plainly see he was on my side. Jesus, Sean. That's a cynical way to look at it. Doesn't make it less true. I keep trying to understand I can how see what he's like getting Washington at, though. and Jefferson could dedicate their lives to the pursuit of liberty and equality, yet have no problem owning slaves hypocritical in the extreme and your history books make only passing mention of the subject as if as if it were of little consequence they had a war to win the country's future to secure how could they deal with all these issues at the same time spoken like a true apologist we hear it today too that matters of civil rights and equality must wait there are conflicts to settle economies to salvage what do any of these things matter if the people are not free and equal all of them. I wish there was a way for us to share what we learn from the Animus with others. Imagine being able to accurately answer questions about the past. Or experience lost civilizations. But how would you cite it? We can't just reveal the machine's existence to the world. Why not? <laughs> Desmond's right. It would be dangerous. And we still haven't found a way to manage the bleeding effect. Maybe when we're done saving the world, we can look into it. Even if we do manage to stave off the apocalypse, it's not like the Templars are simply going to disappear. I suspect our fight will continue long after this latest battle is finished. Oh, look at the time. What oh, doesn't time fly? Sequels. Well, we get you back in the animus, yeah, already right? set up for them. Come on, son. We've got work to do. Okay, and a little words. So... I said I could plug in that thing now. 
Where exactly would I do the... Not here. Can't look at the map, so I can't look at my missions. I didn't find this before. If we could not meet the sun's cruel embrace, perhaps we might rebuke it. Already we could generate the fields to protect us in times of strife. But these were small and simple things. To replicate them on a scale the size of a world. We lack the energy to make it so. Half the world, they said then. It is better than none at all. We tried. Again, we failed. A quarter, they asked. Even this we could not do. A sixth, an eighth, a tenth, they cried. The answer was still the same. Perhaps in time a city might be spared. But it was time we did not have. So we moved on. Oh, there she is again. Wonder what's inside. One way to find out. something else over here. Maybe? I guess not. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Jesus Christ, Desmond. I think I went over there before. change the consensus. We would save the world. But it never came to be. We sent a dozen of them skyward, but 
that there was no way to maintain control, to direct the beam, to enthrall the world, to speak the words. Though this was strange and dangerous, what we tried next was worse. So this is why I like this backstory so much. I like stories like this in general. Now she's just telling you uh, more of the backstory. I would think if I just uh, kept doing all of Connor's stories, I would have to do all of this at once. But I like this story, so I'm going to explore it as soon as I can. Uh, Juno is just explaining to us uh, their motivations. To back to change the past, but we could not find a way. But forward, we could look forward. And so here we sought to see beyond ourselves and know what was to come. First, we wanted to learn if our work would succeed. But the answer was always the same, so we moved on to other things, but she remained. The one you call Minerva. In time, she too stopped looking, and instead began to speak. She called out across time, in the hope that you might be saved. She hid messages where none might find them, save for you and those within this place. Fascinating. Tired of it. The cryptic warnings, the threats. Just tell us what you want. But they are. We saw the Nephilim there. We seemed like grasshoppers in our own eyes, and we looked the same to them. Imagine trying to explain all this to a two-year-old, to a grasshopper. When they said the will of the gods was unknowable, they meant it. Literally. I killed her, you know. I killed Lucy. It was the apple, son. It was Juno. I saw what she was. What would happen if I let her live? I could have stopped myself. I mean, there was a force there. But I didn't have to. I chose to. Well, the game kind of forced us to. Lucy was going to betray us and take the apple back to Abstergo. I saw the satellite launched. I saw them turn it on, and then it failed. Whatever's on the other side of that door, it benefits Juno. We need to be careful. I don't think I can get there yet. I think that's something that only the end of the game. Can actually get to. Can we? Oh, I guess I. Oh, come on! I can slip through there. Bullshit. Again, this is just making me hope that they really meant what they said. They wanted Syndicate to be a good game. Because I would like to play that game. Everyone said Rogue was good, so I do intend to play that. I don't even know if I'm going the right way. This looks like a dead end. Oh no, wait, there we go. There we go. 
this is ah uh, okay. Oh. Guess we had two pieces. Yeah, we did have two pieces. What am I thinking about? Was this way? Can I get down there from here. I'm telling you, there's something down here. Don't be daft. I don't know. Maybe they were sleeping or something, and we woke them. Some kind of cryogenics or hibernation i mean how do we know what the hell they were doing down here they were working on a bunch of different solutions but nothing worked it just went from one to the next and then i don't know they must have left at some point after the end i wonder what the world would be like if they'd succeeded i'm more concerned about what it'll be like if we don't salvation they found a way too late for them, but not for you. Sealed and protected. Though now it bars your way. Find the key. The past will tell. Great. It kind of turned me around a little bit, so I don't exactly know where to go next. Oh, here we are. Guess this is where the stairs are. Yeah, I think this is where it was at. Or not. Oh, okay. Yeah, there we are. God, it's the light. A new world approached. One that was dark and cold. It would consume us. For we were flesh, and flesh is frail. Though suits and shields might offer comfort, such adornments would not suffice, not to save us all. So we sought to change what we were. In this manner, we might thrive in a world made poisonous. It was Aita who volunteered to see if it might be done. Aita, my husband, my love. In the end, it changed him. Ruined him. He was made a prisoner of the machines. The body might survive, but his mind became brittle to the touch. He begged me for release. For days. For weeks. For months. I pleaded with him to give us time to find another way. But, but there, there wasn't, wasn't one. one. Not, Not for him. him. Not for us. This is eerily reminding me of the Matrix now. <laughs> oh, this is kind of cool. Oh, God. Um, oh, I guess this is the right way. <laughs> it's monkey blood and art. Everyone's DNA. This will be evolved from. impulses and the body a vessel to hold these sparks but it is weak in time it decays and crumbles to dust
We asked ourselves then, what if it might be replaced with something stronger, something better? So we forged a new vessel, one that might endure. It proved easy enough to enter. But to leave, to leave required something more, something wrong. And so this too they abandoned. I wondered though, were they right to turn away? This is getting all sorts of interesting. And why do they have to abandon this story? I like science fiction like this. Like a small cog in like the grand scheme of things. It's because a lot of people, ah, uh, and we haven't gotten the third one yet. I'm guessing this is the final one, because we're at New York, and they haven't hinted at us going to any more cities. So we're not too. We're gonna have to go back up this way later. Well, like, four, they have this, like, modern time setting, but how it feels is way different than uh, how it feels in this game. So, uh, I guess I gotta go back into the Animus now. There's nothing else to do. We don't have that third key yet. Ooh, look at that. I found a third power source. Or not. Already. It popped up in an earlier search, but I've only just managed to confirm it. Where? There's a museum in Cairo, with one on display. I guess Connor will have to wait. No, you stay. We need to find that key, and time is running out. I'll make the trip. What about Cross? Everything's going to be fine. I'll be back soon. Ready when you are, Desmond. Winter approaches. The air is still and sharp with grim expectation. The others sense it too and go about their work with uncommon urgency. I would like to help them, but more pressing matters now demand my attention. The Templars have targeted George Washington directly and will not rest until he is dead. I had hoped to shield him from this knowledge, but Thomas Hickey ended any hope I had of staying silent. And so I have resolved to share everything I know of the Templars and their plots, of who I really am. Achilles finds fault in this, and we argue every day, but there is simply too much now at stake to maintain restraint. I guess I was wrong. Don't do this, Connor! Then what would you propose we do? Sit and watch while the Templars take control? We are sworn to stop them. Oh no, wait, no, he didn't... Washington wasn't there, that's right. Precise. We do not go announcing conspiracies from the rooftops to all who pass by. Who are you to lecture anyone? You locked yourself away in this crumbling heap and gave up on the Brotherhood entirely. Since the day I arrived, you've done nothing but discourage me. And on the rare occasions you've chosen to help, you've done so little, you may as well have done nothing at all. How dare you! Then tell me, on whose watch did the Brotherhood falter? Whose inaction allowed the Templar Order to grow so large that it now controls an entire nation. If I sought to dissuade you, it was because you knew nothing. If I was reluctant to contribute, it was because you were naive. A thousand times you would have died and taken God knows how many with you. Let me tell you something, Kana. Life is not a fairy tale, and there are no happy endings. No, not when men like you are left in charge.
In your haste to save the world, boy, take care you don't destroy it. 